Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditech, CTO at DVS, and welcome to 2020. For those of you that had a really relaxing Christmas break, welcome back. We hope 2020 is going to be a really prosperous, healthy new year for you all. So good luck and keep us informed of what your plans are, what you get up to, and how you plan it to be planned out. That doesn't even make sense. But today, so two things to mention. Don't forget, on the job workwear collaboration, if you want to get yours, Jake will put the link somewhere around there, hopefully, or tell you where to get it. We're doing a collaboration. For those of you who like your Supreme collaborations or, or, or similar ones like that, then head over here, get yourself some of this, and then post some selfies with you wearing it to us, and then we'll do a prize draw for the best selfie with on-the-job workwear. So today, what are we going to look at? So, the wonderful people at Hype Vision have launched this new mini indoor facial recognition station. So the model number is DS-K1T331W. So you can see the part number there. So what do you get in the box and what's the idea of it? So inside the box, you get this lovely mini indoor facial recognition station. So if you look at the new iPhone 11 Pro, you can see the size comparison there. So it's quite a small unit. It's indoor only, but the idea being you can put that on an internal door to give you facial recognition on the door um, for your staff members. So it's really quick and easy, really high accuracy and reliable, and will get your traffic flowing neatly. But it's also not that much bigger than a reader. Um, it's got the dual cameras in there, the white light to enhance the picture quality. We'll take the tab off so you can see that's what it looks like, nice and shiny, but we'll power this up shortly. Inside the box, you also get the back plate, very important. Simply fit that to the wall, the cables come through it, and then the mechanism slides into the back like that, and then it hooks in like so. So that's locked in. What else do you get? You get these cable accessories. So you get a cable loom, a 12 volt adapter, and a micro USB adapter for updating should you require. Some screws to secure it to the wall and then to the plate. The Allen key or the star key. Some fitting instructions and a guide. And also the 12 volt power supply. It is 12 volt, not PoE, so bear that in mind. And then you also get this little angled plate if you want it to be an angled unit. Other than that, we're gonna go and fit this together quickly, power it up, put it on the network, add it to Hike Central and see what it can do. Okay, so. With the unit, like I said, you get two cable looms. One is power only with the jack type on there. So you can connect this on the back here. That is a power only loom. So if you're gonna stick this on the network and not control the door through this, as in you don't need the lock output or the door input uh, request to exit button and just wanna power it for facial recognition purposes for the door, you can actually just use it like this. Or you can swap to this loom, both included. Click that in. That's still got the 12 volt uh, input on there, the red and black. But then you've got the lock output, the door request input, the door monitoring, et cetera, et cetera. Um, uh, so you can choose which style you like. For ease of use, we're just gonna use this uh, 12 volt adapter and power it and on the network. So we simply plug this in, feed the cable through there with this lovely desktop mount. So there is the desktop mount. So if I put it like that, it's angled onto the desktop. So it looks really nice. Um, you could use it as a, uh, it, it capture the images of people, facial uh, recognition images to add to the database, makes it nice and easy for that. So we're gonna power it. Let's just steal the power of this fingerprint unit. Let's power it up. Steal the network connection as well. And there we have our facial recognition unit. I'm gonna add that to uh, Hike Central and we'll be back to seconds. Okay, and welcome back to the tutorial. So I've logged into my Hike Central professional web client. We're on version 1.5, but the principle's still the same. So we're gonna add this little uh, mini face rec terminal into physical view. Now you do need an access control license, which I do have. Once you have the license, you'll see the access control device tab here. 
I've got some devices online already, so I'm going to add another one. Just quickly add it by the IP address because it's on a different network. Mini face rack terminal. Put the password in there. Apply the time and date to the device because it's brand new. We'll add everything to it. Click add. And there we go, it's online. So if I click on that, it will give me that as a one camera and one door added. If I go back, click on the configuration. There are some uh, settings we can do. So it's telling me the current time is correct. That's perfect. We can add linkages by clicking add, but that's uh, a different setup we'll cover later. But what we can do is adjust some of the basic settings. So card swiping, voice prompt, upload picture after capture, yes. Picture storage, yes. Adopt the camera's resolution, yes. Um, picture quality, normal. Enable NFC card. Deep mode, working mode is normal or permission free. Reboot, restore. And if you click on configuration there, it'll load the old SDK interface and there's some more functions you can adjust in there. Well, it won't because I've just adjusted the time and date, so I've got to let it come back online. Just reboot it now. There we go. Back online. So current firmware version is correct, the model number, etc., etc., and you can work your way through there as needed. So back to the main menu. What we're going to do now is add this device to control a door or its own door. So first of all, we're going to create an access level. So go to access level within the menu. You can also do this through IMS 4200, but it's easier for me to do it through Hike Central. I use that for every day in our office. So add access level name. We're going to call it 24-7, description all doors. I'm going to add all of these devices in to be part of this. An all day template, yes. So click add. So we've added an access group. And by clicking expand, it tells you what's in there. Next part down, we're going to click on person. I need to add a person to our group. There's no one added currently, so I'm going to add myself. So we're going to click add. We're going to give it my name, David. Oh, David. Davis. I'm a male, last time I checked. And we're going to... Options for doing the actual face credential, click by device, take a picture or upload picture. So either of these you can do. So we're going to collect by the device. We're going to select this mini face rec terminal to collect it and click capture because it's only behind me. Now this might take a couple of goes. There we go. And let my lovely die tech custom embroidered polo shirts. So we're happy with that. So we'll click save my email if I wanted to put that in there. My phone number, if I wanted to fill these details in. Face comparison group, if I wanted to do face comparison on a face rec NVR, we're not gonna um, do that. But we're just interested in access control. So I've added already my access control time and attendance. So I'm gonna click on that to select it. I am a super user. Attendance group, not worried about. Set profile as face credential, yes. That means my profile picture on this person will be used as my face credential, so that is important. I'm not gonna add a card, I'm not gonna add a fingerprint because it is only for facial recognition. Special credentials, dot, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So click add. So there's me added. Um, face comparison group, access group, etc. You can all go through. The face comparison group is if you're using the face rack NVRs or deep in mind servers. Attendance group is if you're doing time in attendance and we do dock station group now in version 1.5. If you're using the body cam, you can tie a person to a body cam, etc. 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 So added myself to the list, that's absolutely fine. Next thing we're gonna do is actually apply this to the device. So under Access level, just make sure we've done that. Yeah, uh, under event and alarm, we don't want anything on there. Logical view, wait for that to load. Under the mini face rec terminal here, you've got one camera there. So if you click on that, we can adjust the parameters as needed. Go back into here, go into doors, click on the door itself. There's only one door available. So we'll call it DVS demo mini 
face wreck. Let's help the vice spot DVS correctly. So you can adjust these door contact, normally open, normally close, etc. The door open time, so we'll leave it as five. Door open, timeouts, etc. Duress codes. Door status setting, free access schedule. So if you want it to open between a certain time or access forbidden certain time, you can adjust that. So it's free access. Related cameras, yes, we've already related one. Picture storage, etc., etc., etc. And then you can do these separate things: like entry and exit counting, anti-passback, open door with first card, multi-factor authentication. So the card holder, the reader one is DVS uh, mini face rack. Terminal door, oh, just put anything you need in there. Card reader access mode is face only. We're only interested in being face, but you can adjust accordingly. Uh, read access mode, mini card swipe and interval, etc. You can adjust these to be site specific or application specific. Access control level is 24 7, and then you can set events if needed. Click save. So we've set all that up. So that's Tickety boo. Go back to physical view. Access control device. That's fine. Okay, so yeah, happy with all that. That's fine. Click save. So what we're going to do now is go to the access group. One person in there. We need to apply the device, or you can do it by schedule. So we'll apply to device now. Select all the devices you want to apply this to. Click apply all or apply changes. We'll just apply the changes because I've already got people added. So what that should do now is if I go, <coughs> pardon me, if I open up the control client, monitoring, mini face rack. So we've got the camera for the face rack there. We're going to put the events on there. Uh, it's down there. There we go. Access control. Let's have a look if this works. There we go, straight away. So you've got the, comes up on here, uh, the reference image and the captured image, the captured image and the details below there. You can also open the door from the uh, client itself, so you can click unlock, remain, unlock, remain locked. So it's a nice easy interface on there. Or you can open all doors with a quick um, trigger event or operate all access points. Nice and easy to do. And then it'll all link through there. So I can click on uh, these events here, live view. Or click, click on the event and it'll play back all that for us. Um, what I'm gonna do is set the camera up now and show you the face rack terminal working itself. So let me switch back to the camera and see you in two seconds. Okay, so I zoomed it in. We've got the multimeter here connected to the lock reader output so you can hear the lock go because I don't have it connected to a lock. That's how small the unit is. I've actually turned the white light on within the face rack terminal itself so you can see to illuminate it so the read is better, but it does have built-in infrared if you don't want that white light, if it's too bright. What you can actually do is press the top right-hand corner, press and hold there, And it asks you for the activation password. That will then take you into the back end, which allow you to turn on the white light, adjust the voice prompt sound, etc. etc. We'll cancel that. So I'm gonna go over there, move back to it. The read distance is impressive. It was picking me up about five meters away. Um, I'm gonna move away, come up to it, and you'll see how this reacts. So straight away that's picked me up multiple times. And you can see the multimeters going to simulate the door. See, I'm probably two meters away, at least two and a half meters away now, and it's picking me up nicely there. So you can see that, that really does um, show that this uh, is good technology. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you want any more details on this unit or where it can be applied, any further sales information, please contact us here at DVS. We hope you keep watching, liking, subscribing. Thank you for all your support in the past year, and we look forward to working with you in 2020. Thanks, guys.